They can wipe us out in foosball, so Ulrich and I are gonna teach him a lesson. Wanna watch? How many times do I have to tell you I'm working on the Napskin program and I can't get away? Relax, Einstein. We thought you'd like a front row seat to see the girls get thrashed. We weren't gonna make you play. Listen, reinforcing the skid is slightly more important than foosball. You don't want your next expedition to end up being your last, do you? Oh, is the optimist, huh, Jeremy? Come on over. You can take a little break from the computer. If that guy calls again, I'm gonna break his neck. Where was I? Um, if I compress the executable files, I should be able to free up enough memory to... Now who's gonna waste my time? Thanks for your warm welcome, Belpo. Oh, hi. I mean, hello, Mr. Delmas. I hope at least that you'll be a little happier to see your cousin. Huh? Come in. Hello, Jeremy. Patrick, what are you doing here? I'm surprised your parents didn't tell you. Your cousin has enrolled on their recommendation. And until we can get him a room of his own, we thought we would put him with you. Hmm, a camping bed should do the trick. But, sir, it's just that I... Well, young man, welcome to Caddick. Belpoir, I'll leave you to look after uh, Belpoir. It might be a good idea to show him around the school. How you doing, cuz? I caught you by surprise, didn't I? Glad to see me, I hope. Yeah, I'm overjoyed. Listen, I have to do work now, so don't you have to get your stuff or fill out a form or something? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, Jeremy, anyone tell you it's bad manners to hang up on people? Incredible. Einstein's made a handsomer clone of himself. Very funny. This is my cousin Patrick. He's gonna be a student here. Hi, my name's Ulrich. Another Belpois, huh? Are you also a nut about square roots and all that stuff? Oh, no. I'm not as bright as Jeremy, that's for sure. You think he's bright, do you? If you ask me, he wears kind of drab <sighs> colors. Yeah, well, I guess that compared to the way you dress anything, it seemed kind of dull. <laughs> hey, this is a classy outfit. It's based on Kung Fu Commando. It's a great game. I guess you're stuck at level 7 because at level 8, the clothes get a lot more tame. Uh... You two should get along, a couple of joystick junkies. And I thought we had someone new for football. I don't just play video games. I'm into Aikido, too. Oh, yeah? Hey, that's cool. Although I prefer doing Penchax a lot. Anyway, we could train together. Great, but right now, everybody out. I've got work to do. My uh, report on the Vikings and their legendary Drakkar ship. The Skid mm. It's important, huh? Roger. Uh. Time to ship out. We've got a date with the foosball game. Hey, why don't you come with us? That'd be great, thanks. Your friends seem really nice, Jeremy. I can see exactly what you're after. So just leave my friends alone, okay? Make your own friends in the rec room. Was that family reunion typical of the Belpois? I'll meet you over there. I forgot my mobile. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did you act like that with him? It's because I know him. He tries to act super cool to make me look bad. It was like that at summer camp. Patrick would steal all my friends and act as if I didn't exist. Maybe he didn't do it on purpose. He seems pretty nice to me. Mylita, are you blind? Can't you see that he's doing the same thing he used to do at camp right now? Don't make excuses for being such a sore loser and for behaving like a three-year-old baby. So chill out and stop feeling sorry for yourself because you're not like him. Are you done? Because I've already wasted enough time. What's taking Eileen so long anyway? I can't wait to teach you two ladies a lesson. Like the one we're giving you now? <laughs> You don't deserve the credit. It was Patrick's pass. If Jeremy wasn't stuck to his computer all day, he might be able to play like you. Well, I wouldn't be too hard on him. After all, it's harder to be a whiz in math than playing foosball. That's incredible. Einstein treats you like dirt, and yet you try to defend him. If he was my cousin, I'd ask for a divorce. Very interesting. Can we change the channel? This is the third episode of Love, Glory, and Paella in a row. Just shut up. I decide, and you obey. Me, a three-year-old baby? Bit of a sore loser, but not a baby. Who's there? Well there, Belpois. Got a little family company? Mm. Oh, looks like you'd rather not talk about it. Happens to me sometimes, too. You should do more exercise. Take your mind off other things. Ah, some good news. About time. Hello? 
Is that you, Jeremy? Yes, Aelita. I have to tell you something. I'm warning you, Jeremy. If you're going to be as rude as the super scans picked up a replica. What? I'll meet you at the factory. Call the others. Now? Yeah, right now. Ah, Aelita, finally. A uh, little change of program. Xana? Mm-hmm. Sorry, but we have to go now. A little problem to take care of. Who are Xana and Replica? A couple of Greek friends? Uh, <laughs> right, and they make a wicked moussaka, but you gotta eat it while it's hot! <laughs> See you later! Hmm. Teresa. See you later! Oh, Great! Oh, Tell right me how now. it ends! I can't keep it from you anymore. I'm not Ramon's brother. Change the channel. What are you waiting for? An incredible save by the goalie. The pressure's on. Still no score. Muller gets ready to kick the ball out of danger! Reinforce the NASCAR? The program's running. I left my computer working while I'm gone. The update will install itself directly on the supercomputer. Yeah, but won't Patrick see it? I locked my room. He can't get it until I get back. I guess Jeremy locked his room up. Good thing the principal gave me a copy of the key. Hello, my name is Sissy. I'm really glad to meet you. Transfer Yumi. Transfer Alita. Transfer Cool. Scanner Yumi. Scanner Alita. Scanner Or. Virtualization. You're wrong. Jeremy and I don't hate each other. There's no need to lie to me. I know everything. But I'm on the side of the good guys like you, Patrick. Jeremy and his gang are up to no good. But together, we can catch them. Jeremy? He wouldn't dare steal a lollipop. Besides, he's always in front of his computer. Yeah. What if the answer was in his computer? Mm. Oh, sissy. Uh, well, uh, Miguel and Teresa were just about to kiss each other. When all of a sudden... I don't care, you little dork. You don't? Just go over to Jeremy's room and step on it. Steady in the right direction. Hub 110 in sight, Jeremy. Stabilize the nav skid over the hyperfluid while I enter the replica's coordinates and darn it! The problem? More like three problems. A trio of sharks at 11 o'clock. I'll stabilize the nav skid. Just one for each of us? Piece of cake. And I'm an expert at desserts. Would the captain mind releasing us? Battle station sailors. Nav skids away. The Deflector Shield hasn't finished uploading yet. Will you hurry? I thought you said you were a computer whiz. There's some kind of program running, and it's blocking my access to Jeremy's personal files. Hey, what you're doing is way out of line. But why? If Jeremy has nothing to hide, we won't find anything, huh? That doesn't matter. It's still wrong. Miserable program. Don't ask me how I did it, but I think I did it. <laughs> Jeremy, my protective shield just dropped all of a sudden. Wait, I'll check it out. Hey, what's going on now? You won't get away from me that easily. Take this, you overgrown sardine. Factory to nav skids. Head back to the skid. What's wrong, Princess? Feeling lonesome? No time for jokes, Hot. I don't have a shield anymore. <gasps> Alina! <gasps> Jeremy! I've lost power! I have no control at all! Jeremy! Listen, Nav kids. I've lost contact with Alita. Catch up to her fast. She's being swept away in a digital tie. Okay, I'm breaking off. It's impossible to debug it. It's coming from the program I left running in my room. I 
Let's see her date of birth, her social security number, all of her school records. This is weird. Hmm. It's like he's forged all of Aileen's ID papers. I was sure if we looked hard enough, we'd find something interesting. Wait, I'm sure that's Aileen's real ID file. He must have scanned them for the photo. He's got a crush on her, right? Yeah, and her health records. Did he scan those to get her eye color? Uh-oh, hey, someone's trying to access the system from a distance. Okay, let's tangle. Access denied? Huh? How could that happen? Jeremy to Nav's kids. The only way to deal with this bug is to go back to my room. Thanks a lot for leaving us alone to protect Aelita. There's a whole aquarium that won't let us get through. I know that, Ulrich, but as soon as the bug is fixed, we can bring the kids in, so hang on. I don't believe it. Activated tower in the desert sector. Nav's kids, we're changing our plans. We've got to bring Aelita back to Lyoko. You want us to turn a squadron of deadly sharks into fish sticks? Buy this kid and then haul it back with our tiny little reactors? That pretty much sums it up. Okay, we're on it, Einstein. I'm activating a firewall in the system so you won't have any trouble while I'm gone. <sighs> Jean-Pierre Delma speaking. This is Mr. Dunbar here. I'm calling to tell you that my son William still has the flu and that the doctor advises more bed rest before returning to school. Right, thank you for calling in. Having phones is a serious offense. You're through, Jeremy Belpois. Here's another call. Hi there, Julian. This is Sissy, the love of your life. But, but I never said that to him. Oh, Julian, you wouldn't believe how mad about you I am. It's, it's that idiot Odd imitating my voice. So that's why that dork Julian Sal wouldn't stop following me. At this hour, you should be in your room studying. You've no excuse. Well, that's all. I burned a CD with all this on it for your father. Great! We've got enough on them to get them all thrown out of school! Not so fast. I'm sure Jeremy uh, has a perfectly uh, good explanation. Huh? My father will be glad to hear it, I'm sure. Out of my way! Over my dead body. Stop playing the hero! I can get you kicked out of school, too! Jeremy, do you read me? I heard was snooping around on your computer with the principal's daughter. I tried to stop them, but they went totally mental and kicked me out of the room like I was a rag doll. <laughs> They're gonna show the ID you made for Aelita to the principal and get you all expelled. I'm sorry, this is my fault. You didn't like me much to start with, and now... No, I'm the one who's sorry for acting like a total idiot ever since you got here. No hard feelings? No sweat, cousin. Listen, I don't have time to explain now, but if we let Herb and Sissy play around with my computer, getting expelled from school will be the least of our problems. Will you help me? You can count on me. <laughs> looks worse. No! I packed the 
your firewall. Yumi, the mad dentist is the same compared to this monster. In formation, here we go. Nats kids, stand by to fire. Huh? No more power. What's going on? No idea. Something's wrong. New horror film, The Return of the Sardines. Uh, they've both blown a fuse, don't you think? Now there's an idea. If I cut the electricity, my computer will switch off, and so will the access to the supercomputer. You stay here. Oh, my deflector shield is almost gone. One more hit, and it's all over. I think I'll never get to level 8 of Kung Fu Commando. Patrick's such a lucky guy. Geronimo! This is impossible! Huh? The shield is back! Jeremy, you did it, right? Oh. Jeremy, can you hear me? Nice to hear your voice again, Aelita. Einstein strikes again. Too bad for you, fish face. I'm off the hook, but not you. Yeah! Woo! I sure hope the others get a move on. Not as easy as it was, is it? I hate to bother you, Princess, but do you mind stepping aside? Uh-huh. Reverse propulsion. Fire! 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 Well done. I can bring you in now. Next stop, Lyoka. Roger. Nav's kids in. and needles in my legs. And that's better. A good old-fashioned land duel. <laughs> Lita, don't be a party pooper. You're spoiling all the fun. I'm complaining. Jeremy's in trouble. But you 
forgot to look up! Yeah! Okay, it's your move, princess. Hurry, Zana's invited some friends over. Pretty bad shape. Uh, Jeremy, you did it. Yeah, don't worry, you're gonna be okay. I, uh, I'm glad we settled things between us. Patrick, Patrick. Return to the past now. In a hurry to get crushed, Odd? Um, Odd's right. Come on, let's all go to the rec room. You too? What about your program? I mean, your report on the Vikings. It can wait. It's not every day you can hang with your cousin. <laughs> Should we give him a three-point handicap? It depends. If Patrick plays on their team and we get stuck with Jeremy, we'll be the ones needing a handicap. <laughs> your friends really seem nice, Jeremy. You're right, they are. We need to get to know them better. You think we could be friends? I mean, you and I have never really gotten along that well. And... Just kids' jealousy and stuff. That's all over now. You've only been here an hour, but I feel like we're friends already. Belpois, I'm sorry, but your parents have decided not to enroll you after all. <laughs> From what I understand, they'd rather you attended a school closer to your home. I'm sincerely sorry, my boy. Oh, what a bummer that is. It's really a shame. Well, I guess that means we we'll only get to hang out at family reunions. See you around then, cuz? Uh, you still got time for a game of foosball, huh? Yes. Will you be on my team? I've always been dying to whip odd. Works for me. 